So the difference between benzodiazepines and barbiturates almost sound the same. They react on the same neuroreceptors and they kind of do the same thing in terms of an anti-anxiety and uh, decreased neurotransmitters. So let me explain exactly what the difference is between these two anti-anxiety um, type of drugs and what are the similarities between them as well. So we usually give benzos and barbs kind of for the same things. They help to reduce a patient's anxiety levels. Um, they don't necessarily block pain directly. They're not an opioid receptor pain blocker, but they will drop the blood pressure, they will drop the heart rate, and they will drop the respirations because they do act in the brain, the central nervous system, okay? But their mechanism of actions are a little different. And something that you have to realize is that benzos act really fast in terms of their quick half-life. They act fast and they're released from the body very quickly. Barbiturates, on the other hand, have a longer duration and they are usually last in the body for up to two to three, sometimes five days. So it's a very, very um, high concentration. If your patient, your patient has a more um, propensity to get addicted to barbiturates than they do to benzos. And I'll explain what this all means. So the way I like to remember benzodiazepines, now don't make fun of my drawing, okay? But I like to think of benzos almost as like a Mercedes Benz, okay? Mercedes Benz. And Mercedes Benzes, they're very flashy, nice high-end car. And I drew a little car here for you. And usually, um, your high-profile people, or your people who've made it in the world, drive your Benzos, okay? Your, your Benz, your, um, your Mercedes Benzes, right? So, if you're living a fast life, and uh, you know, you're on top of the world, and you have a Benz, then just remember that you're going to have girls, Pam and Lamb, in the car seats with you. So with the Benz, you're going to have, um, I call Pam and Lamb, because these are the two suffixes that end with our Benzos. Uh, for instance, Lorazepam, um, your other drugs that end in Lamb, are indications of benzodiazepines. So if you remember that benzos is like you're driving a Benz and you have the ladies in the back seat, I don't know, um, Pam and Lamb are driving with you, then it's like, you know, it's a very, very fast life and you're living life on the edge and, you know, you're doing everything mother told you not to do, right? So this goes out to all my guys, right, in the, in the crowd. But that's the way at least I remember it, at least for your test. And remember, there's no rules in terms of how you study for your test as long as you get this information onto the test, right? So your benzos, Pam and Lamb, very, very fast. Uh, we usually give benzos, benzodiazepines, for patients with high anxiety or a patient who comes in with a seizure. We'll usually pop an IV in them, give them Ativan, or lorazepam as fast as we can to decrease that neuro, those neurotransmitters and to sedate the brain. And it reacts very quickly and it's out of the body very quickly as well. On the other hand, we have barbiturates. Barbiturates act in the central nervous system, in the brain, in the same way but act on different receptors. 
They act on GABA alpha receptors, okay? And the way I like to remember barb, bituates, they're a longer duration. So these guys end in barbitol. So I remember, like, we put a Barbie doll, like, you know, Barbie and how the, that toy that all the little girls play with? You put Barbie behind the bars. And if you're behind the bars in jail, then you're going to have a longer duration. Usually three to five days to get barbiturates out of your system. So you have a very high propensity of patients overdosing on these kind of drugs for anti-anxiety issues. Now I mentioned a little bit, but GABA receptors in your brain are thought to have uh, the control center of your brain. It's called, who's your, my instructor always used to say, you know, who is your controller? It's GABA. So that GABA um, receptor in your brain controls your conscious thoughts. It, that, that's what it's thought to do. It's your controller. It's like your little guy in your brain that tells you to do the rational things. Now, when we sedate this GABA receptors, from alcohol, you know, we have those beer goggles on, right? <laughs> That's what we call, we're sedating our GABA alpha receptors. So, barbiturates actually act the same way as alcohol does. And barbiturates act on those GABA alpha receptors. On the other hand, benzos, Benzos act on the same GABA receptors, but they act on different receptor sites of GABA itself. So these are very, very, uh, the benzos itself are very quick acting. They're very fast, almost like your Benz, Mercedes Benz. And if you guys remember that Pam and Lamb drive with you, then you can remember that benzos, like your Mercedes-Benz uh, ends in Bam and, Pam and Lamb. And remember that we always give this for patients who have seizures. Barbiturates, remember that barb is like your bars to the jail. And if you're in jail, you're going to be there for a longer time, three to five days to get out of your system. And we put Barbie dolls behind the bars. So bar and bar, it's going to remember, you're going to be able to remember that these are barbiturates. And if you remember that barbiturates are longer duration and have a higher propensity of addiction, then you're going to be able to remember and score higher if you're going to be giving barbiturates in the clinical setting. So that is pretty much the basics. Um, let me see if I missed anything here. They both act as CNS depressants, like I said, so watch out for your, uh, for your blood pressure, watch out for your, um, for your heart rate, watch out for your respiratory rate, and just know that barbiturates, because they are longer acting, you have a higher propensity of toxicity. So let's say your patient... Um, is dependent now on barbiturates and they pop one today and they pop two tomorrow and they pop three the next day we're going to create this synergistic effect of getting too much barbiturates if we did that with benzos your ativan your lorazepam you pop a few wait a day pop a more few your body's going to get rid of it so you're not going to have a propensity of becoming overdosed or have a toxicity level. So hopefully that clears up a little bit between benzodiazepines and barbiturates themselves.